This thing right here is my bass boat. This is a 2022 Skeeter FXR 21 bass boat, one of the Cadillacs in the entire fishing industry. I love fishing on this thing. It is a fantastic bass boat. It has some awesome features. It's got a big old 250 horsepower engine that, trust me, lets you go pretty dang fast. The whole design here makes sure you don't hit waves too hard. And the front deck up here, the fishing platform, my office here on YouTube, I could fit like six people fishing up here. Would I want to? No. But could I? Yes. But just like any boat or truck or really anything out there, you can add customizations, a little bit of special personalized touch to make them more efficient for your needs. My needs are catching fish on camera for you guys. And to do that, I've got to stay organized. I've got to make sure my tackle, my rods, and my reels are exactly where I need them and I know where they are that way I can reach for them and catch fish for you guys and so in this video I'm going to show you guys my 2022 bass boat tackle storage and what makes it so special So when it comes to bass boat fishing lure storage, there's so many different ways to do it. Really depending on your boat, the way you like to store things, you're gonna find a way that works for you. And so for me, for years and years, I stored all my soft plastic lures, my worms, my craws, my creature baits in gallon Ziploc bags, just like this one and this one right here. And I stored them underneath my butt where I'm sitting here in the middle uh, rod locker, sometimes in Tupperware boxes, sometimes just laying out there by themselves. And that's just the soft plastics. You guys out there who bass fish a ton know that you're going to accrue quite a few of these uh, tackle boxes. This here is my jerk bait box, but I've got boxes for crankbaits, jigs, vibrating jigs, hooks, terminal tackle, topwaters, Alabama rigs. I mean, I've got boxes for everything. So I'm going to take all of these lures right here, including some of my new summer order from Strike King, and I'm going to open up my tackle storage, which is brand new for 2022, and show you guys how I'm keeping everything organized. That way I can catch the most fish possible and thus make the most YouTube videos for y'all to enjoy and learn from. So let's open this thing up. So as y'all can see by looking in my boat, this is not the ordinary stock Skeeter FXR tackle storage. Tyler, what the heck did you do? What did you put in here? Well, this year I partnered with an awesome company out of Longview, Texas called Amped Marine, and they make some of the coolest, most customizable tackle storage for your bass boat. Let me tell you guys all they did on my boat. The first thing we did was replace the stock day box in my FXR, which I'm sitting on right now, with their day box, which has a lot more functionality. It not only sits deeper into my boat, thus allowing me to store more bags of soft plastics, more loose lures. I have a ton of loose lures. I should probably organize these though. And one thing I've got to brag on Amped about is that when I went in there, my JJ's Magic Dip and my whatever this stuff is called, Sasaki Crawfish Fire Gel would not fit in the slots that they had originally for, you know, the, 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 bait dips, the bait pens. And so they saw the need that I had. They took my JJ's Magic and Fire Gel into the back and designed slots that could fit exactly what I needed. And that is just the day box. The next thing they moved on to is going to be the middle storage compartment where I keep all of my tackle boxes and most of my tackle bags, the loose tackle bags. So we took the heavy, functional, I'll say it, uh, Skeeter tackle boxes that it comes with, the, the tackle crates. We moved those out and we put in their laser cut ones with some awesome additions to the side. You can tell by looking at the before and after that Skeeter does not have any storage capabilities on the sides of where your tackle boxes slide into. Amped has solved that problem with a custom plastic mold that can be fully customizable to fit whatever bags of soft plastics or really anything. I've got a spool of line in there right now along the sides to give you even more storage and more access to that storage. They've also got hanging trays right here that can fit in any of my compartments and will allow the lid to fully close. So I can keep soft plastic, scissors, really anything I want anywhere in this center compartment right here. Now, something else they added as additional storage that I never even thought about using in my boat is the space underneath the step. So the guys at Amped Marine safely removed my step, added in a storage drawer, and then put the step back on to efficiently use that space. I had never even thought about that. So moving from the tackle storage, they don't just do tackle storage, they do boat marine storage uh, a la carte. You can order the entire boat, you can order a singular portion. And one thing that I also didn't think about was down here on the cooler. With the cooler, they added a divider into the middle that basically segments off my area for ice and drinks away from the area for sandwiches and snacks that still need to be kept in the cooler, kept cold, but don't need to be sitting directly on ice. That's just so ingenuitive, I never thought about that. Now in the back here in my battery area, we have a battery compartment storage tray, a deep tray that sits right in the middle above my power pool charge unit. Now what this does, it allows me to keep extra accessories back here that have to do with what goes on here in the back of the boat. So I 
I can keep towels, I can keep boat spray, I can keep extra engine oil, I can keep G-juice for tournaments to rejuvenate fish. There's so many things I can keep in the back here that I normally would have had to keep up here where my tackle goes. And one more thing that Amped Marine did to really go above and beyond for my bass boat is they helped me, not I wouldn't say helped me, I actually didn't do any of the process. They fully created a piece of plastic that could better hold the monopod that helps film the videos you guys watch. So if you've watched my How I Film My Videos video, I showed you guys that I have a pretty unique system when it comes to filming fishing videos on YouTube, and that is a full-size monopod that I keep right here kind of screwed on the console of my bass boat. And for years, I used this piece of wood right here that my dad designed that holds the monopod onto the ground. That way, it can't move. Well, over the years, this thing has gotten weaker and weaker, and as you guys can probably see, there's a crack in it right there. And so I give this thing another year or two of use before it breaks. I handed this thing to Bill at Amps Marine. He said, give me 15 minutes. And he was back with a fully customized piece that fits my boat and my monopod even better. It'll be more secure, it'll be longer lasting, and of course, it'll help make better videos for you guys. So this wooden piece right here, as much as I love my dad, he made this for me. This thing is out the door because they were able to custom make a piece for what my needs were. So you give them a call, you tell them what your bass boat needs, how you like to have your tackle organized, they can custom make things to make your life easier. Now, speaking of tackle organized, I haven't really put all my tackle in here. I've still got the box of all my crankbaits and worms sitting right here. So let's uh, start a time lapse of putting all my tackle in my boat. Then we'll show you how I organize my rods and reels and everything else. Well, in the time-lapse process, I completely sweat off my microphone, so we are holding it now. And the first thing you'll notice in my hand here is these plastic bags. I used to keep all of my soft plastic lures in these bags here no longer. I don't need these. And before we show you guys the tackle, I'm gonna show you how I store all of my rods. Now, the great thing about Skeeters is that they have what's called the Mega Rod Tube. This here is just one big tube. So unlike a lot of bass boats out there throughout the years that had a bunch of individual slots, a bunch of individual tubes for your rods, there is just one big Mega Rod Tube. So I fit, I don't know how many combos this is, 20 30 combos in here from bait casters to big you know small bait casters to big bait casters spinning rods all of the above i can fit everything i ever need for basically the entire year in this rod box right here so this is the starboard side of the starboard this is the port side of my boat and moving on from that we have the center tackle storage compartment. This here is what I raved about so far in this video. This is the brand new Amped Marine system. So as you can see, I've got the two sliding trays here on the sides that my box will shut, uh, even with these things out here. So I've got some extra crankbaits sitting in this one. I've got all my, my Ned Rig baits right here, some extra weights sitting here. Then if I slide these two back, you will see that I've got all of my soft plastics lined up on both sides of my main tackle boxes. So here I've got uh, craw trailers. Back here I've got rage craws because I throw a ton of rage craws. Those will stay nice and organized. As you can see, they fit perfectly in the slots that are fully customizable. If I slide this back, you'll see I've got all my drop shot baits back here. If you go back here, I've got my big worms, I've got my ochos, and I've got two spools of Seaguar fluorocarbon right there, 17 and 20, my two most commonly used um, line sizes. So let's be back up the camera here. You can see all of the individual uh, tackle slots that I have, just like I had with the original tackle storage. Now I have them here with the Amp Marine. I've got my Bass Mafia box. I keep all of my terminal tackle in this box right here. It's a fantastic box. I like it. It's waterproof. I don't really keep that many hooks, if I'm being honest. I've just got some flipping hooks, some worm hooks that I need to replenish, drop shot stuff, punching stuff, split rings. I basically keep it all swim bait hooks, swim bait jig heads. I keep it all in one terminal tackle box. I don't see the need to have multiple terminals. I may change that this summer if I get to punching or throwing swim baits a ton. But for now, just one terminal box. The next box that I have is going to be a jig box. This jig holds all my jigs besides my swim jigs. So tons of outcast tackle stuff we've got outcast tackle finesse jigs we've got football jigs we've got juice jigs flipping jigs a few pre-rigged 
Ned rig baits right here. That's what I keep in this jig box. You guys know, I love jigs. You gotta have two jig boxes. And this here is the second jig box. I keep in this one all of my vibrating jigs here. This here is the Thunder Cricket. And I also keep all of my swim jigs. So I got some bluegill swim jigs, some white swim jigs. I'm actually in need of replenishing swim jigs. This box is light. It won't become a few weeks from now. And if y'all have watched previous tackle storage videos of mine, you'll know that I keep everything organized uh, based on, in, in terms of order from me, what I'm using that time. So terminal always stays the first slot because I'm always using terminal the most, then whatever the season is. So jigs are almost always kind of down here near the beginning. Then I have, if it's summertime, spring, fall, I've got my top water box, which is the next closest to me. So in this one, I've got tons of my favorite frog, the pop and pad perch, some regular pad perch. I've got some sexy dogs and some mega dogs. And then I have a variety of, of wake baits, plopper style buzz frogs. I keep this in here in case I stumble upon uh, some very dumb fish one day that want to eat a spider. But that is purely for a crazy video idea. So that's my top water box. And then it kind of moves into all of the uh, hard baits and moving baits. So I've got a box here that is kind of my live scope spoon big swim bait. So I've got a lot of my 10XDs. 10XD crankbaits don't fit in a whole lot of stuff. And so 10XDs go here, big spoons, swim baits, hair jigs. This here's the Outcast Tackle Chicken Jig that fits in this box here. And again, I don't keep this box in my boat all year round. It's just kind of a, a summertime box. Hair jigs, 10XDs, definitely summertime stuff. So that one's next. Then one that I don't really use, and honestly, in the organization process, I should have moved this one farther back or even taken it out of my boat. It is my lipless crankbait box. Almost all of these are Strike King Red Eye Shads, a few others mixed in for different situations, but I love Red Eye Shad, as you can tell. I love throwing them in red colors, red variations. I do love myself a red, a red Red Eye Shad. So, and you know what? I'm probably gonna take this out of the boat now that I think about it. I don't know when I'm gonna use this. The next box is going to be my deep crankbait box. I use the heck out of this thing in the summertime. I've got everything from uh, six XD, five, six, and eight XDs in this box right here. I am looking though for a better deep crankbait box. So if y'all have any ideas, let me know. I'm sure I can make it fit in the Amped Marine system. Everything's customizable, like I said. I'm just not a fan of only fitting a max of like 12 crankbaits in this one. Oftentimes when you're deep cranking, you're around brushing sticks and stumps and you're gonna end up losing a bunch. And that's what I've done. So luckily, got a new striking order. We can fit them all in there now. Next is going to be my jerkbait box. This thing practically never leaves my bass boat and that's because it's live scope season almost all year round. Besides when the bass are on beds, I get to throw a jerkbait on live scope. I'm talking over grass lines, over brush piles. I love throwing a jerkbait. Anything from the KVD 100 to the 300, both the two and the three hook size, that's what I keep in my jerkbait box. Last two normal size boxes here. Again, farthest from me because this time of the year, I'm not really using them a whole lot. That's going to be my square bill crankbaits. I just don't really use a square bill a whole lot until the fall time. It is a fall, uh, late winter, early spring lure for me, but of course you gotta keep square bills in the boat. And then I also keep my medium diving crankbaits. So anything from a series three, three XD, uh, a deep diving square bill. I keep a lot of different jerk, or not jerk baits, crankbaits in this box. Again, mostly a winter time thing for me. And last but not least, we have my big swim bait box. Some of the swim baits in here are missing. They are in my kayak box, but I've got everything from Piz Customs uh, Shadley glide baits. I've got the Storm Arashi glide. I've got a big eight inch mag draft. I've got a few other wake baits. I've got, of course, you gotta have a rat. Everybody's gotta have a rat in their boat. That's how I organize all of the tackle in my boat. I'm gonna go ahead and put this lipless crankbait box back in here just for good measure. And we'll show you guys how I organize the side of my boat here. This here is the starboard side. So in the starboard side, I've got all of my electronics. I've got extra line. I will have Amped make for me a better storage solution for line than just a Walmart box here, but that's where I keep my line. I keep my monopod, my light, my locker bar, and all of my Blue Storm life jackets are up here as well. And then the last thing that Amped did for me is they revamped my day box. Now, I also have to revamp it because as as you can tell we got a whole bunch of uh, malarkey here but i'll put all these lures where they belong we'll put some soft plastics and lures that i commonly use right here as you can see my fire gel and my jj's magic fit perfectly because they custom designed it for me i've got some cigar uh, gold label for my spinning reels one thing that i always keep in my boat no matter to the time of the year 
is a crappie box because if I'm hungry for some tasty critters, I'm gonna pull out a spinning rod and put on some crappie jigs and catch them on live scope because who doesn't want a fish fry a free dinner? So I keep my crappie box in there and then I did take advantage already of their spinnerbait holster and I kind of put in there four of my most commonly used spinnerbait colors and sizes and one buzzbait as well. And so you don't have to use it to dry out your lures. You can just use it for tackle storage. And that's what I'm going to do. I can put at least uh, a dozen spinner baits and buzz baits and crank baits right here. That way they're not in the tackle storage area where the soft plastic bags and scissors should be. And if you all have watched previous boat organization videos that I've made, nothing's really changed in the back besides having, like I said, that brand new battery storage compartment tray that is right there. Nothing's changed in the back of my boat. Now having extra soft plastic bag storage has freed up a ton of space here in the back of my boat. So here in this compartment right here behind my passenger seat, I do have two uh, Walmart boxes full of soft plastics. I can actually move a lot of these inside my main center storage compartment. Now, of course, I don't want to move too much of those because you don't want to have all your weight in the front of the boat. You want to have the majority of your, your heavy weight in the back of the boat. So I'll still probably keep some soft plastics, but having extra storage in the middle allows me to move some of this from the back to more, you know, accessible locations. Behind the driver's seat right here, I still keep all of my tools, my jumper cables, my ropes, my towels, anything that I can't really keep in a non-waterproof area, I keep back here all of my instructions for my power poles, my charge units. I keep all the important stuff behind my driver's seat. And when it comes to the glove box right here, I've got an extra glove box because I've got one underneath my steps now. So it remains to be seen what I'm gonna put underneath there. But like I said, I, I wanna be as efficient as I can out there on the water because, because if I'm spending time trying to find lures and, and, and rods and reels and line that if I was organized, would have been easier to find. That's going to be a waste, and I could have been making more videos and catching more fish. Staying organized is so crucial to me, and that's why I'm pumped to partner with Amped Marine. I will leave them linked in the video description below. Again, if you guys need anything for your bass boat, your bay boat, they can custom make stuff for whatever your storage needs are. Now, I say we hop on the water. We got a few minutes till sunset. My pastor friend Brandon and I are going to try to catch ourselves a few topwater bass to finish out the night. If we don't end up catching any, the video will be done, but hopefully we're going to catch some fish in three, two, one. What's a bug bait? Oh, wow. Gosh. Oh, you son of a Are gun. Are you serious? Oh, dang it. 